Hi, if you want to do your PhD from Italy, then this video is for you. Assalamu alaikum and hello children. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Accelerate Watch. I hope you all are doing well and safe. I am Sultan Sheikh, PhD scholar at Hamad bin Khalifa University, Qatar. In this video, I am going to discuss with you the PhD scholarship which is currently announced in Politico di Malino, which is one of the universities in Italy. So let's get started. My dear friends, first of all, you have to open this website. I had put this link in of this video. Now, this scholarship is funded by PNRR. NRR stands for National Recovery and Resilience Plan. Okay, so the number of the scholarship announced are 211. So there are a number of departments you can apply. And the number of scholarships are different for different disciplines, which you can see on your screen. 154 scholarships for business innovation, 26 scholarships for public administration, 25 scholarships for NRR research lines, 4 scholarships for cultural heritage, and 2 scholarships for digital and environmental transitions. You can also check the breakdown over here, category and the number of scholarships in the category. Now, the deadline for this scholarship is 12 September 2022. The main documents required for this scholarship is the CV and research proposal. The CV which you have to prepare by using the template given on this website and the proposal you have to prepare by using the proposal template which you can see on your screen. Okay. Now, if we talk about the different topics and the call for each topic, you have to scroll down to the page and here you can see you know the topic is mentioned and also the department in which this topic is lying and detail about this topic as well as the call so two different languages are given over here in italian and the english so so depend upon you you can open any document now let me open this once you open the pdf file you can find each and every information in this PDF file, which includes that uh, what will be the stipend for 36 months, that is three years, which is written over here. So for every scholarship, for every topic, it is a uh, different. And uh, uh, here is the motivation and objective of the research this field, uh, which can help you to prepare research proposal and the uh, method and objectives which are going to use in this study, which you can also use to prepare your research proposal. And what are the educational objectives which you can read here? And what are the job opportunities after completing this degree? And what is the composition of the research group in which you are going to work? Uh, and the name of the research director is also mentioned, which you can find in every PDF file. And uh, what are your benefits is also mentioned here. So uh, in this uh, uh, topic, you, you will not get any housing or housing out of town residence. Uh, you will uh, not get anything. Uh, your monthly stipend will increase for a uh, you know period of six months uh, which you can see over here and also in which company you will work and how many months you will work at great company is also mentioned over here and some additional information is also mentioned over here that what will be your educational activities what you will be teaching assistantship activities will you get computer or desk or not so it is mentioned over here so all information in this uh, topic file is mentioned regarding uh, the you know uh, educational objectives and the benefits you will get uh, if you are going to select uh, this uh, uh, you know topic or field. Now let me tell you uh, about the documents which you have to submit uh, while applying for this scholarship or this uh, field only because every scholarship every topic has a uh, different requirements which you have to read by yourself. Now I'm going to open the uh, you know uh, call document so. Uh, in this call document, uh, you will get all the information regarding documents which you have to submit uh, uh, and each and everything regarding the requirements for admission. Okay? So this uh, document you have to read by yourself uh, and at the end they also mention the required CGPA uh, they accept. 
okay so for every country it is a different which you can see in the table uh, i'm not going to discuss uh, about this whole document because otherwise the uh, uh, video will be too lengthy so you have to read this document by yourself and uh, all the information is mentioned what documents are required and uh, how you will write the research proposal how you prepare the cv uh, how you will write the motivation letter etc so all information is mentioned over here uh, let me go back again and i can show you uh, there are number of scholarship as i mentioned there are 211 scholarship in which you can apply so you have to read it properly before applying and if you have any other question kindly let me know in the comment box below uh thank you so much in the next video take care allah hafiz